Qui abbiamo eh? Martin. Eh? Martin, are you a boy or a girl? Eh? You're a boy. Eh? Ah, sì. Ecco, gli ho chiesto se è maschio o femmina perché. For us it's like five o'clock full time, good. That's all we think about. We don't care about the result. <laughs> It's me. It's me. We're, we're uh, um, filming. Well, what's going yeah. on with, with time's money? I mean, Sorry. should I come back later then, or what? Just. Oh. Should I Sorry. come back later? Um, just a bit in a bit. Some big DJs, and like when I. I'm supporting them. When I come up, they sort of start bowing at me and stuff like that. And it's, it's a bit embarrassing because I'm really not a very good DJ. But uh, he's actually crap. I'm crap. But uh, what are your top three beauty tips? Uh, frownies. Frownies. Things that you put on your head. Right. And they stop you looking frowny. <laughs> Reminds me of 1982 and videos like The Meaning of Love. And just can't get enough and whatever you don't play those please just because I've said that this time actually we're, we're, we we mean it as a joke then we meant it seriously flying as a back mine uh, we're Depeche Mode and we'd like to thank everyone at the Weir San Francisco sales office who helped make Personal Jesus our first gold single especially Mark Goldstein Gary Briggs and Lisa Boggle. <laughs> Without your efforts, this phenomenal sales success would have been impossible. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. New age. <laughs> <laughs> New age. No. no. I have, I have... There's, a, there's another video, apart from those five that you mentioned, I think it's five or six, it was uh, clean. And uh, basically, I just had to spend the afternoon kissing some girl in her underwear. Oh. <laughs> that was about the best video I've ever made. <laughs> and it just went from there and it, it, you, you mentioned the word addiction earlier. It is an addiction. Yeah. You know, I, I have a gear addiction. Yeah. <laughs> and your name is Martin. <laughs> um. There's Marty with his new fashionable cape. He bought a Prada. You'll all be wearing them soon. About 800? 800 quid. About 16, I'd say. You will notice the ample gothic circumference. <laughs> I mean, DJs, I mean, we're not big fans of DJs generally, like radio DJs and things. But I mean, no, I shouldn't really say that, you know. <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing promotion here. <laughs> no, but no, it's not hurt you. There's definitely certain areas where we suffer through lack of radio support. And they said, oh, I hear you're a musician. Can you play, me? Can you play us something? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I played like, yeah, I can't even remember what I played. I played them one song and they went, oh, it sounds really sad. <laughs> no idea, what's, what's it mean? Well, I just, you know. Acid, acid, isn't it? Acid, acid. 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 You've done acid, you know what acid else is. <laughs> Uh, who trusts me? <laughs> Go on, who trusts me? <laughs> we would, we, we'd have trusted you before. <laughs> Lick, your lingo. Lick my blood. <laughs> the new album from the baseball. Lick my blood. The new album from Ramstein. Lick my blood. Lick my blood. Lick it now. Well, that's it, I'm not playing anymore unless someone licks my blood. <laughs> <laughs> Rick? Martin Gore of Depeche Mode has been fined $50 by a US court for playing his music too loud. Gore was arrested by police in Denver, Colorado after guests complained about the volume of music coming from his hotel room. He was jailed for 18 hours before pleading guilty to disorderly conduct. How do you keep your teeth so shiny? I had them done. Oh, really? You did have horrible teeth before, though, so... Right. Yeah. Okay. You could go whiter. You, you could go whiter than that? You could go whiter. I'm almost blind here. The video that we're shooting at the moment, a lot of it is shot at double speed. God bless you all. Boogie on. Playback. You're rolling. <laughs> I 
I have enough difficulty at single speed. So it, it came as a bit of a shock to me. I didn't expect it to be quite that fast. Yes! Well, I don't even worry about like trying to do it fiddly. It was a little bit. It was actually funny when you looked over and was like, ah! <laughs> this uh, thing called? Uh, in Essex, it's called a theremin. In Essex, it's called a theremin. A theremin. A fer, a fer, a theremin. <laughs> it's a very difficult question, but you know, if, if I have to answer it, I probably would have to say Andy, because uh, you know, I went to school with Andy. I've known him since I was about you know eleven or twelve, and uh, you know, we we've been going out together for years. You know, going out together—that sounds bad, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, we, we've known each other for a long time. When I got to the front of the queue, um, a guard came over and asked for my passport um, and said, told me to wait. And he just came back after about 10 minutes and gave me my passport back and said, Zurück nach West Berlin. And I said, warum? And he went, Zurück nach West Berlin. And, and at that point, I just left. <laughs> and You'll be wearing your dress again? No, he doesn't oh, do that. You <laughs> should, should, should be wearing that. Everybody's waiting for that. The rest of the uh, the lads, they had a word with me. We thought we could, we just can't. It was getting too much bad publicity. <laughs> really? Yeah. So so what will you be wearing? A tuxedo this time? No, just something very masculine. Okay, great. <laughs> we'll be looking forward to that. We we always take a break, and yeah, we'll just. <laughs> <laughs> This dress is electric. <laughs> I know, you look wonderful, darling. <laughs> no, it's got static. Yeah, it's right. I don't care. I think it's electric. No, it's, you know, just difficult to stop. I mean, people call it Euro crack. <laughs> like country music, too. Yeah. Uh, a little bit, I'm trying to get into it, so I thought I might yeah, come and buy some true. today. Well, you like bluegrass? Which one you like them? Don't know enough about it. Don't I'm know just, much just, about it? I'm just getting into it, just starting. I'm just going to give you a good old country sticker here. This is our card. When you get back home, if you like to order through the mail, then it's right there. Yeah. All right, thank you. We'll see tonight. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> Hello, we're Depeche Mode, and we'd like to thank everyone at the Weir New York branch who helped make Personal Jesus our first gold single, especially Craig Smith, Hilary Schribner, Scribe, no, Scribe, 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 Anne Marie Foley, and Suzanne Nelson. Without your efforts, this phenomenal sales success would have been impossible. Thank you. Thank you. Phenomenal. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very, very run of the mill. Very run of the mill. Even average. No, you don't mean much. Look at them TV Whoever, who wrote the funeral march, you'll know that. Chopin. Chopin. But the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, we all know the, the, the famous bit, but no one knows the, the other 40 minutes. <laughs> or, or whatever it is. And I felt quite small after that. <laughs> Your new single, uh, Question of Lust. Maybe you could explain uh, the song a little bit. I mean, what is a question of lust? I'm going to show you now. <laughs> later, <laughs> later. <laughs> more often than once a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd get told off if I did that. <laughs> Your lyrics have, have used the word pain a lot, and basically you seem to have... That's because look at him, he's suffering. <laughs> yeah. He suffers all the time. Look. <laughs> I mean, are you... Don't are you, glasses off are you a miserable <laughs> bastard, basically? Uh, no, not really. No, no I am so today. A bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but generally, no, I'm not. I like to drink. Right. So sometimes I fall off chairs.
Home to our families. Some some of us didn't have families left. <laughs> <laughs> Again, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna uh, go into explaining the lyrics. We don't generally like to explain lyrics. I'll try and explain it to you. Do you know when you feel absolutely like and you feel the worst you've ever felt in your life. And then you, some, somehow you think, the universe must like me for making me feel like this. <laughs>